Wesley, a dynamic win with the white pieces against Daniel. Tell us about the game. Well, I actually wouldn't really call it dynamic. It's more positional because he didn't really get to have an attack going. Uh, well, first of all, in the opening, he played the Sicilian Seveshnikov, which I don't think he's played before. Um, I was expecting the Nidorf, but then I just decided to follow Fabiano's game against Magnus, then game six of the World Championship match. So all, all these lines were played before knight d5 take. And then when he played knight d7, I think Fabian played bishop d2 in the first game, and then he played b4 afterwards. But I decided to play bishop d2 because it's the engine's first choice. Um, then I think my opponent deviated with f5, f4, which is not what Magnus played, but I think it's the best line. So I started to think, then I went for this rook e1, bishop d3, which took my opponent out of the book. And after that, we both weren't sure what black's best idea is. Uh, definitely f3 was a mistake. Uh, I thought black should play bishop g4, f3, bishop d7, with the idea g5, g4, or something else. But mm, yeah, and then it's quite dangerous. Its position is very complex. And white has to be careful not to get checkmated. And, but in the game when he played F3, I was very happy because uh, all his attack is gone. And I get so much material for the queen. And in fact, I have a lot of uh, attractive options. But I think what I chose was sufficient. That's quite interesting because when black gets a move like F3 on the board, you would think that the attack has been successful. But you say that's that was the mistake and that's when the attack fizzled out. Yeah, I think F3 was a huge mistake, maybe even a decisive one. Well, the point is I can sacrifice my queen, queen f3, knight g4, queen e4, bishop f5, and queen f5, which is really good. I think my opponent totally underestimated the idea, but yeah, I get a rook, a bishop, and a pawn. And the thing is my light square bishop and uh, my control over the light squares is huge. It's tremendous. Um, black doesn't have any counterplay at all, so yeah, f3 was just a terrible move. Right, the idea with a queen sacrifice is an extremely combative resource, but do you, is it also the only way to fight against black's attack? Well, I think it's definitely the best way, it's the simplest way. Uh, the queen sacrifice is definitely the best choice by far, and it doesn't even make sense to think about the alternatives, because uh, uh, generally two pieces enough a pawn or two is more than enough compensation for the queen. Now for our audience, obviously a queen sacrifice is extremely spectacular because you gave it for a rook and a minor piece and a pawn. Was it, but was it the first, uh, first option that you thought about on the board? Yeah, yeah, I was very happy when he played F3 because I saw all this already. I've also been playing some chess variants uh, lately and it says that in some cases the queen is not a big deal. I, I mean two pieces more than compensate for it. And... Uh, yeah, and it showed today. Well, I guess the moral is that in some positions, if you can get two or three pieces for the queens, generally more than enough. But that's also what we've seen with a lot of Alpha Zero games as well, that uh, um, the value of the pieces, the theoretical value of the pieces, often doesn't count. Yeah, I think there are a lot of factors, not just about numbers, but also the activity of the pieces and the placement of the pieces and... Uh, also, weak squares and weak pawns matter a lot when, when uh, planning material imbalance. For example, in my game today, I think my pawn was desperately looking for counterplay, but there simply wasn't. And in the end, he has to sacrifice pawn with e4, because otherwise his bishop on f6 is terribly placed. And he lost another pawn on b7. So, uh, yeah, my rooks were very active on the eighth rank. Right, so happy with your game, I'm sure, today. Now, what's your plan for today evening? Because unlike yesterday, at least we hope you'll get a little more rest. <laughs> yeah, well, um, no, this 2 out 2 is a good start. Uh, uh, it's a f good first two games for my first time here in Gibraltar. Well, now I'm very curious to see what's happening also in Tata Steel, in Why Can't Say. Uh, me, I played in that tournament nine times, and it's an awfully long tournament, but I like watching it, you know. <laughs> I like players spending 20 days of some good chess. Sounds great. So you're on two out of two and you get to watch uh, Vaikanze. Sounds like a good evening plan.
We wish you have a good dinner today and we'll see you back in our studio. Thank you so much, Anya. Thanks, Wesley. <laughs>